We all know that it's inevitable that interest rates are going to go up. At some point, they're going to go up. If you click that little calculate button on the stats menu, we're going to calculate what that difference would actually make. For every 1% interest rates go up, let's see what that'll do. So if we home price we've put in at 500,000, as an example, at 4% and a down payment of 20% down or 100,000, we'll see a payment of 1909.66. So then in the simple calculator, if we just put that figure in there, 1909.66, and then go back and change the interest rate to 5% because we want to see what difference a 1% interest rate change will make, we see the payment changes to 2147.29. So if we subtract that from the earlier payment, and then uh, change the sign so we get the $237.63 difference in payment. Now let's go back and change the down payment to zero and the interest rate to 4% because what we want to do is plug that payment of $237.63 into the monthly payment to see what that difference in payment would amortize. So we see 49774.27, very close to 50000 just in your head, you can see that's about 10%, but if we divide the 49774.27 divided by 500,000, of course we'll see what we could do in our heads, which is that 0 0.0995 or almost 10% difference. So bottom line for every 1% uptick in interest rates, the effective cost of the home goes up about 10%. And that's because what the difference in the amortization of the payments would make between 4% and 5%, which works anytime you raise their interest rate 1% on an 80% loan. That's powerful. Put another way, purchasers may think that prices may soften over time. A very succinct way to put it is that what they hope to gain in potentially lower prices going forward, which of course there's no assurance of, will likely be more than offset over time with higher interest rates. Pretty sure bet.